couple uh, a couple things I found on the U tubs. Oh, I love these. So here, let's do let's do this one first. This one's kind of neat. It's a guy on his connect. Was it like James, James Hetfield? Hetfield? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they did this in Paranormal Activity Four. Yeah. Oh, with the connect as well. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. The little the little ghost of yeah. a demon shows up. <laughs> Oh, okay. Interesting. I never knew you could do, like, thermal view. That's cool. I don't know how, like, legit thermal that is, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't know. How, like, how would it be able to tell, right? James Heffy would try and do, you know, catch his ghost for a new song. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So, like, in the far right there? That was yeah. Like yeah. The, yeah. But it just dis- dissipated like that. Though. It does mm-hmm. kind of, like, dissipate, but then there's a little bit of a... Like, there's a, a hint of, like... Of it still of being soul, there. Thing, yeah. Or, it's so. like the outline. I don't, I don't know what to take with that. I mean, it, it is done on an Xbox Connect. Yeah. I don't know how... Yeah. But that means I don't know how well you can edit something from a from a Connect. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, actually, you can just do a video capture and... Like, have a video card capture and then just, you can just do And then just kind of like edit afterwards? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah just really good with Adobe Premiere. Oh, definitely. definitely. This is kind of how it does fade away and then it goes into the different things. Yeah. The one thing I... The one thing that kind of makes it a little bit, uh, I don't know for sure for me, Mm -hmm. is um, his reaction. Yeah. And, like, kind of the setup for it. Like, if it's Mm -hmm. something he's just like, fuck, I've seen this a bunch of times. Yeah. You get this set up. It's always in this corner. It almost seemed a bit too scripted. Uh, Of course. So The fact that he's just switching it on the fly, it's like, oh, I'm just going to have a camera point at myself and switch it. Switch it and get into this one certain angle. I mean, it was, it was, Mm -hmm. it was creepy. I'll give it that. That's cool. It was creepy. Yeah. Um... If I turned on, like, night vision on something and there's something <laughs> behind me, I, I wouldn't... Like, his, his reaction was almost a bit too slow. He was yeah. like, yeah. oh. I wouldn't be on the thing. couch. Yeah, you'd probably be off your seat and just I'd like, have been yeah. launched through the ceiling through the force of my own projectile. Yeah, yeah. I would just tub girl rocket myself <laughs> into the stratosphere. It's just... <laughs> it's no. <laughs> All right, so here's the second one that I found. Oh, yeah. It was apparently caught on a security camera. Oh, I saw this one yesterday. Mm. This is a good one. Is it Tim Hortons? Hope so. That'd be nice. Looks like Timmy's. Canadian shadow people. <laughs> They're really nice. Oh, pardon me. A. <laughs> <laughs> You're for your soul, eh? 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 <laughs> See, there it is. Wow. That's... That looks like a fly, to be honest. That... Kind of does, yeah. That's what I was thinking initially. It, I think it it's totally just fly is. on the camera. The way it's moving. Yeah. yeah. It, it seems kind of buggish. Yeah, it's a fly. Although the camera just moved there and it stayed where it was. Hmm. So unless there's like a, a cover over the camera lens. Though, yeah, that, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like it does look very like insect, like a fly yeah. landed on it. And it, and it just moved. Sort of, yeah, because they, they walk kind of. They walk funny, but it's weird because it almost looks like it does kind of phase through the wall and then it's outside. Yeah. Um, but I don't know, just kind of the the erratic movement and like just how like the size of it. Yeah. It looks it like looks a mosquito like... almost. Yeah. Yeah. Could have yeah. landed on there and. So and because it's so because it's not focused on it, so that's why it's all smudgy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. It's focusing on the the floor. Exactly. So, so th- those are just two ones I saw. I mean, I'd probably be more partial to believe in Connect guy over the <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, over the, the bug James Hetfield. There's so many times where it's like, <laughs> it totally looks like him. <laughs> where we've seen like bugs and shit land on lenses and yeah. Like, orbs and things just being like, oh, we're in this really dusty place and there's a bunch of orbs somehow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Light. I'm outside and it's raining. Oh my god, orbs everywhere. Yeah, exactly. So, Everywhere I mean... you look, there's a ghost. Oh, a ghost orb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I fucking love Professor Brothers. <laughs> so good. Ghost orb. So good, yeah. But yeah, so, um, yeah, those are kind of neat, I think. I just find that the red eyes thing is... Why red eyes for some reason? It's just because it's spooky. It's more spooky, <laughs> more evil. Yes. Yeah, but it's like it's always red eyes, or like you know. I don't know. Here's the thing: I've noticed that the red eye reports are a lot more like infrequent. Mm. Um, it's almost kind of oh, like yeah. the hooded figure, the hooded yeah. figure ones. Yeah. The red eyes are almost kind of like. Like their own separate entity. Yeah. yeah. It's always the silhouette, or like you know. Yeah, the, the fedora or. It's, it's the fedora man or the, the like the naked dude, the naked bald guy. Yeah. <laughs> Interpretive dancing in the corner of your room. 
You sure it's not the Invisible Man from um, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen? I hope not. Because <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's kind of like that. Yeah, yeah. Just like, ah, I can see what you're doing in this. Stop, cool. <laughs> stop it. Yeah. I know enough. you're trying to flash me now, but dude, just, just, just stop. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, and you don't, really, you don't really hear too much about, like, shadow people with really long hair or anything like that. It's always, like, the mm-hmm. bald or fedora. Yeah, yeah. Or the old lady. Oh, yeah. The old oh, lady. fuck. Yeah, I guess I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's. I think the old lady is one that tends to show up a lot when people... It's just sleep Like, it's a night terror stuff. sort of a thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And that kind of is associated with, associated with just the, the legend of the nightmare. Right, right. Which is the... Like, a lot of people would, back in, like, I guess, medieval type times yeah. or whatever, would report or would, like, talk about... Some, like, the the incubus or whatever sitting on their chest. And a lot of the time when, like, it would also sometimes be, like, a old hag. Mm-hmm. And she'd be on your chest trying to strangle you. And anyone said that, like, anyone who would be sleeping near a window would look out their window and see a giant black horse with red eyes. Oh, okay. And that was the nightmare. Like, the female mm-hmm. horse. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's where that came from. I, I love how that's where that term came from. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty, pretty terrifying. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot of people who've said that they've seen a uh, fedora guy have also said that he feels the most sinister of the ball. <laughs> and I can't, you know, the fact that he wears a fedora. Like, just come on. I'm just saying that. Well, I'm just saying, bronies... Mare. Yeah, I, oh my god, it's all connected. He's looking for Nightmare Moon. <laughs> it's like, clearly our time travelers from now. Yeah. They found the technology. Oh Gone yeah. Gone back in time <laughs> to do fucking whatever you do if you're into My Little Pony. That just means that it's that popular that far ahead in the future, which is such a shame. <laughs> <laughs> But I could just see like like uh, fedora guy like he he always shows up to he shows up typically to females. So he's like, <laughs> my lady's like, my lady, are you looking for a nice guy, a real nice guy who will treat you like the queen you are? Tip, and then he fades away. <laughs> I am here for you. <laughs> so that's why he sounds. That's why he's the more terrifying. <laughs> Fucking great! <laughs> oh fuck! God damn it! No oh, shit. That's okay. Yep. <laughs> I I did know a girl who apparently did have a uh, shadow people related issue. Mm. Uh, this this happened like quite a while ago. Probably like, it was one of those weird like meshing of groups type things. Yeah. It was like after a few hangouts and stuff. That's kind of when you start to like talk to people more and be like, oh, so I'm gonna serve. What's your deal? Yeah, what's your deal and stuff? And we, you can't just be like, oh, what kind of ghosts do you see mostly? (laughs) You're just not going to speak to those people again. They'd be like, oh, wow, all right, you're a little fucked up. Either way. I um, hope that if this podcast gets more popular, that's what people do when they first approach us. Oh, yeah. (laughs) What What ghosts do you see? Well, in season one, episode three, I fucking answer it for you. Don't talk to me. (laughs) Back of the line, moron. (laughs) We'll just be back. <laughs> so high on ourselves, it's like mildly popular. Glory. <laughs> no, sorry. Anyway, you know, I mean, no, it's totally. I'm just. I'm like. I'm imagining us getting the questions like that while like <laughs> in a bathroom somewhere. <laughs> so she would see these shadow people, and she only really like briefly mentioned it and stuff. And I was like, I of course was curious because I'm like, oh man. That's spooky as balls. Like, tell me more. And apparently, she did go to to a few doctors and psychiatrists and stuff to basically see if she's like, "Am I crazy?" and all this other stuff. And they apparently tried like therapy and, and like medication and stuff like that, and it still wouldn't fix it. Oh. So it was this one, and she just—I probably should have stopped earlier because you know I could tell she was getting like clearly a bit more like like unsettled by it and yeah. I was like oh like do you still see them now and she was just like she stopped me she's like stop like shut up they aren't real leave me alone <laughs> <laughs> like just completely flipped and she was just like no no I don't like they, they just forget I even talked about it like I, these aren't these aren't real these aren't real like almost like 
she started seeing them as we were talking about them. <laughs> wow, that's great. The, like, again, that whole... Psychological horror. Yeah, you bring them up. You give more power realize to them. They show up. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm... It's, yeah, I'm like, it's oh. also kind of a placebo as well, right? Yeah. Because, yeah. like, you know, once you start, you know, sort of believing, it's like, oh, God, they're there, they're there. Oh, pareidolia. Yeah. Pareidolia. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's, it's kind of like that, so... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Any other life accounts? Uh, yeah, actually, my brother's had some. Luckily, he is cool with me saying that it's him. Thanks, Shane. <laughs> Thanks, Shane. You crap. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I will, I will read out what he sent me. And uh, so I asked him, uh, "Do you have I, like?" I remember him saying that he's seen shadowy stuff before. And, uh, and he said, oh, hell yeah. I love talking about this. <laughs> so he said, uh, I have seen shadowy hands come out of my bed. Like, a lot of them. Because uh, he, he, he tends to get, like, he's had uh, not night terrors, so he's, like, screaming and stuff while he's sleeping, but he's got sleep paralysis quite mm-hmm. frequently. Yeah. He said, like, yeah, he's seen shadow, like, a lot of shadowy hands come out of his bed. Uh, he saw a shadowy figure that looked like a girl in a gown. Uh, he said she was by, it was back when uh, we lived over by Oak Ridge, the big house, because he had the upper floor yeah. uh, with the bathroom in it. And uh, he said she was over by his bathroom uh, when we were living with John. She was, his, the foot of his bed was facing his closet, and immediately beside the closet was the door to the bathroom. So she was standing right there. <clears throat> Apparently she bolted fast right at him and was looking straight into his face. And he said she... Uh, she had a horrible, gross-looking face, and her eyes were unnaturally round, because they were just, like, fake. Too it's much anime. anime. Yeah. <laughs> Too much anime. <laughs> I don't know. I was, he wasn't really watching that much around that time. But anyway. Um, no, he said, he said he had this feeling like his brain was being electrocuted, oh. which seems really freaky. And he said he's, he's also heard, uh, he also heard voices very clear saying stuff like, what are you doing here? Mm. So. That sounds a lot more malevolent than, you know, your usual <laughs> yeah oh, that oh fuck that does not seem very bring this to silent hills <laughs> yeah that totally sounds like fucking the 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 Grudge. creature from pt <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like with Lisa. the big fucking eye and that comes at you with the gross face and that stuff that is you yeah. look at her yeah